In this video, we will look at what you can do to resolve an unexpected Signal 10 error in VMware Fusion. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base Article 1018757. While using VMware Fusion, you may at some point encounter some issues while trying to resume a suspended virtual machine or while trying to power on a virtual machine. You may experience symptoms such as what is currently listed in the symptoms section of VMware Knowledge Base Article 1018757, which is currently being displayed on screen. These symptoms usually occur due to corruption of the virtual machine suspended state file. In this demonstration, you can see that I have attempted to resume one of my virtual machines and that it failed showing the error VMware Fusion has encountered an error and has shut down Windows. In order to resolve this error you must remove the suspended state file. To the virtual machine this is like turning off the power. Any unsaved changes are lost so as a best practice you should back up your virtual machine before proceeding with the removal of the suspended state file. For further information on backing up virtual machines in VMware Fusion, check out VMware Knowledge Base Article 1013628. To delete the suspended state file, first you locate the virtual machine bundle for your particular virtual machine. For further information on this, you should check out VMware Knowledge Base Article 100 Seven five nine nine. A simple method for locating the virtual machine bundle would be to just click on the virtual machine in the VMware Fusion library while holding down the control key on your keyboard. If you had an Apple Magic Mouse, you could take advantage of the right click functionality. This will open the virtual machine bundle in Finder. Next, you will need to quit VMware Fusion if it is already open and running. To do this, you can simply click on VMware Fusion in the application menu and then click on Quit VMware Fusion. Control click on the virtual machine bundle and choose Show Package Contents. Delete any files and folders that end in .nvram, .lck, or Dot VMSS. At this point, you should be able to launch VMware Fusion and start the virtual machine successfully. If the preceding steps did not resolve the issue and you are still unable to start the virtual machine, you will need to manually edit the virtual machine's .vmx configuration file to ensure that it's not looking for the suspended state information. To do this, Open the .vmx file in a text editor. For more information on how to do this, check out VMware Knowledge Base Article 1014782. Find the line that starts with checkpoint.vmstate and remove everything between the quotation marks. Save and close the .vmx file. You should now be able to power on your VMware Fusion virtual machine. This concludes our look at what you can do to resolve an unexpected Signal 10 error in VMware Fusion. For additional tutorial videos, check out our YouTube channel, VMware KB TV, at the following URL. Thank you for choosing VMware.